before I leave Aptera, there is one thing that I've been promised, and that's a ride in the beta prototype. Last year, I got to ride in Alpha. This year, I get to ride in the open air beta. Matt, let's hit it. So Matt, you're responsible for testing this, the, the, the chassis, the engineering, the handling. Yes. That's a pretty cool job. It is pretty cool. And uh, more than testing, I get to, uh, you know, make parts for these prototype cars. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's like being a kid with a, a bunch of Legos, you know? And this is technically road legal because you've got your indicators, you've got all your lights, got everything else. Got brake lights, we got headlights, high beams turn signaling. Now is this the triple motor variant? Yes. Three and motors. And obviously right now you don't have the full battery in it. This is just for engineering purposes more yes, than anything else. Yes, this is a, a battery very similar to the ones that are in the Alpha car. It's just made out of off-the-shelf components. Um, but yes, we can't step on it fully because the uh, battery is, uh, is not quite designed for that. And as Chris was explaining to me when I had a chat with him, the reason why this doesn't have any doors, the reason why this doesn't have all of those extraneous things is it would just get in the way, right? Yes, exactly. And uh, <laughs> we're, this vehicle is just to test the suspension. You know, we'll have different test mules for, you know, an interior buck, uh, you know, the solar. Uh, that's actually the next car that we're making is a solar beta. It'll right. have a functioning solar roof. And I must say the suspension is a lot more sorted a lot better damped than the than the alpha prototype that i rode in last year i'm glad you can can feel that difference because uh we all we all feel the same way too it just feels like a completely different uh you know kind Honestly, of vehicle it's the it's the back end that i don't i don't feel it in my bum i know oh, that yeah? sounds a weird thing to say but i think that modified suspension at the rear Mm -hmm. with a trailing arm seems to have really kind of kept it because it doesn't buck up like it used to. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we've been messing around with different, you know, spring sizes and damper damping rates. And uh, this one seems to be working pretty good. The first first combination we had in the car was uh, had a little bit more of that spring that you're kind of mentioning, but uh, it's been tuned in. We went over a, a bump in the road there, a pothole, and I barely felt it with that rear wheel. Yeah? Um, I didn't even realize we went over a pothole. <laughs> it, was, it was very interesting, because obviously people say with a three-wheeler, you're always going to hit the pothole. Mm -hmm. But in that situation, we hit the pothole, and it kind of glided almost over it, I guess. Yeah. But it really holds the corners as well. Oh, yeah. There's very minimal body roll, which feels weird. It is. For it is. a three-wheeler. You, you, you'd expect a three-wheeler to have... This much is, more of a body roll feel to it but i think that with its wide stance and uh you know the suspension team just really knocked it out of the park with their uh, geometry design so tell me about the power of the motors because mm. the this is a generational difference to the alafe motors that were in alpha prototypes these are very similar to those but the final production ones will be a tailored alafe uh, uh motor i believe right. Or at least that's the last that I heard. That is quite a phenomenal amount of acceleration, even around the corner. And it doesn't feel like the car is losing grip. And it doesn't feel like the car is going to tip over. And I think that's the thing that, that I'm really experiencing with the handling of this beta prototype. And a lot of people are going to be watching this and saying, oh, you're being really positive about a beta engineering prototype. I have been in beta engineering prototypes before. I have been in production intent vehicles that didn't feel quite this planted on the road. Are there some issues still to, to iron out? Yeah, I would suggest that the, the steering still feels a little bit on the tweaky side. Um, I, I feel like there might be some torque steering going on still mm. with the power delivery, but that's something that's incredibly hard to dial in. And it's something that is easy to dial in once you've got the suspension and everything else set up, because you can't tune those motors, you can't tune the power delivery until you have that suspension absolutely rock solid. Yeah. Because that's the thing that's not going to change. You can tweak the controller, the inverter, you can tweak the battery management system, you can tweak the motor design even sometimes. But with the actual chassis and the suspension, 
that tends to remain pretty much the same once you've gone past this point. Yeah, I think the geometry very much is going to stay the same. I know that the uh, the front frame uh, subframe will have some change, um, but you're absolutely right. But I think this is going to be a great car when it's finished. I cannot wait to see what the finished product feels like. Well, thank you. We're really happy to be working on it and you know getting to show you guys all the little mm. incremental progress that we do. Thank you so much, Matt. That was such good fun. I don't know if this car is ever going to come to New Zealand, but I know our audience at home are going to love to see more progress from this. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe and the bell notification. Myself or someone else from the wonderful Ecotech family will be back soon. Until then, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Kakite. See you next time.